All right, boys. The Crew Motor Fest. If you're new to the crew, you probably don't know that this is a car RPG. Now, when you go into your vehicles and you go to your upgrades, your parts, notice in the top right, that little orange icon with the numbers comes up. These are another form of consumables. Now these consumables, so if you look at the parts down here, right? You see how they have icons? Green, common, won't. The blue, rare, whatever the pink is. Um, you can see here. So if you hit R2, it says affix stats. It shows you what you have on this car. Now, if you click on the part and you go to where you select from what you have on the on the left pad, if you're on place, it says affix. Hit that. It shows you what your affixes are. Okay. Now you can re-roll these until you get the god tier legendary that you want that you want to build for your car. You don't have to keep <laughs> racing and racing and hope you get a certain drop. Now to get these points, what you have to do is break down parts. So let's let's go to street tier two because I know I have a ton of freaking parts. Street tier two, perfect. We got 80. So if I go to bricks, right? See how it says scrap at the bottom? Boop. Watch our parts go up. Got a hundred. Easy. Now, if you're wondering, Kingdom, how'd you just press square? Well, you didn't hold it. Holding it, it takes so long, it's annoying. I got you. Open your menu, okay? Go to options. Go down to accessibility. Tab over to motor. Convert hold to presses. Turn that on. Boom. And then guess what? You're good to go. The game froze on me again. Hold on. All right. Anyway, back to the upgrades, right? So you can just sit here and scrap whatever you don't want, don't need. Scrap it up. Okay. Now, once you start doing a lot of races and you get a lot of parts, like your parts are full, what you, where they go is your profile. Okay. Back out. Go to driver. Go to mailbox. And your parts will come in here. Like we have a legendary in here that we need to go put on one of our cars. Um, the good thing is when you're in here, you can hit select all, scrap all, boom, done. And that's that. We, uh, we need to grab that. Okay, so that legendary was a 600. We'll put that on our street tier one car here, okay? And I will show you what the affixes are, what a set bonus is, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna put that on right here, all right? So we go to affix, what do we have? Collector, increased treasure frequency, uh, increased night to refill speed. Now, if you look at the set bonus here, one of seven inactive loot digger, multiply the loot earned by two. So. If you want to get a set bonus, if you find a legendary that has a set bonus you want, you cannot reroll the set bonus. So what you wanna do is if you want that set bonus, you gotta make sure all your legendaries, all seven of your parts here, have the same set bonus. Then like this one has bucks, all right? Earn 15% more bucks, kinda of good. You mix that with the 20% that you get from your, your legend points, 35% more bucks pretty big deal so in this case i would want more bucks so i would look for the legendaries that had the bucks magnet get all seven legendaries with the bucks get the set bonus done okay but in the meantime go to affixes and so this one we're four of four let's go to the other piece because i know we haven't rolled these okay so collector increase treasure frequency and eh. increase loot drop goldfinger okay now we got a higher roll we can go with 7.4 percent or we can change to Goldfinger. So it doesn't just re-roll the stats of whatever affix is on there, you can get new affixes. Okay, so we're gonna do Goldfinger, all right? We're not maxed out, it only costs 150. That's really nothing, okay? So we can go to 6%, which is a max roll, or we can increase slipstream power. So you can just keep re-rolling until you get the stats that you want. Um, I would probably just say Google it. I'm sure there's a Reddit post, something somewhere with all the affixes, all the stats. Uh, this one we're gonna re-roll. Refill speed, 3.8. We don't need the collision, let's re-roll. Drag bump, um, we'll do 4.4. We got five, five percent. Increase nitro refill speed. There you go. So you just keep re-rolling on your legendaries. You can re-roll. This is like, we wanna re-roll this blue? It's maxed out for bucks, so we're gonna keep it. But you can re-roll whatever you freaking have, man. That's maxed out, this isn't, so. I mean, why not? Do it, it's just, it's crazy. 
So anyway, if you're a new player, you probably have just been putting on parts because you're like, oh, higher number, better, try to get me closer to 600 or 750 or 920, whatever it may be, and you're probably overlooking the stats. Um, this is this is great. This is the way to go. Now you can also go to the shop, go over to consumables, and you can buy some if you want with in-game like you spend 350,000 of your in-game bucks and get 37,500 so if you run out and you just want to re-roll like it's Diablo 4 and you're trying to min-max go for it but anyway boys you know the drill subscribe come back see you on the next one